Welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to change the template of ASP.NET Core web application. Let's get started. First, open Visual Studios. Click on Create a new project. Search for ASP.NET Core web app. Select Project Template with C Sharp and MVC option. Press Next. Name the project. Select the path to save the project. Press Next. Choose the desired .NET framework. Leave all other options as it is. Press Create button to create the project. Ok, the project has been created. Let's run the project. This is the default layout. It has a header on top, then the content, and at the bottom we have footer. Now go back to Visual Studios. Open Solution Explorer. Double click to open this index file. This is the file currently opened in the browser. Notice we do not have header and footer code in this file. There is another menu item named Privacy. Let's open its code file. It also has no header and footer and only contains the middle content. But on the page, we have header and footer included. The header and footer are placed in underscore layout file. Now open underscore layout file which is located in shared folder of views. This is the file where the common code of every page resides. Reason is very simple. If we include the common code like header, footer or navbar in each page, and if any change comes, then we need to change all the pages. That is why this layout file is used. This layout file has the head, which includes style sheets, then the body, in which we have menu bar code. After that, we have the render body function. This is where code from each view is rendered. After the content, we have the footer code and at the end we have scripts. Now open browser, search for admin LTE. Admin LTE is a free HTML template. Open this admin LTE.io link, click on download button, scroll down a bit, click on source code to download this template, download completed. Extract this zip file. Extraction done. Open this directory now. The template pages are located inside the pages directory. We have almost all controls and all kind of pages included in this template. Calendar, Dashboards, Form Controls, Text Editor, and so many other stuff. Let's move forward. To apply this template to our ASP.NET Core web application, we need a blank page in which we have a very minimum HTML code. This template already has a blank page. Open this blank page. This page looks fine, but we will be creating our own blank page. Let's make copy of this page. Rename this page My Blank Page. I will be using Chrome browser to open this page. Now right click anywhere on the page and press inspect option. A developer tool window is opened. I hope most of you are already familiar with the dev tool window. But if anyone is not familiar, then follow along with me. Press this arrow button. Now move your pointer to the control you want to remove. When you click any control on the web page, notice that the developer window will focus the HTML of that control. Similarly, when you focus some HTML element on the dev tool, it will highlight that area on the web page. Now click the HTML element you want to remove and press the delete key. Element deleted successfully. We also want to remove this search box. 
select this element and again press the delete key delete these comments as well next we have sidebar we will keep only one simple button in this sidebar and remove all other buttons there is no issue in deleting the items because we already have the template and in future if we need anything we can bring it back from the template now open this nav element click on the first element press delete key keep on pressing the delete key okay this gallery item is a simple button we can keep this button shift focus to next element and keep pressing delete key till end of element okay the side nav bar is done now let's move to the top bar delete the home button delete the contact button delete the search button delete the messages button we will keep the bell button delete the next two buttons let's change this bell button icon to user icon remove this count option now let's move to the middle content again press the arrow key now remove everything inside the card body card body is clear now remove all other cards from the content area okay the page is very clean now and we are ready to save it notice we have done all the changes inside the body tag now we have to bring these changes in the code file collapse the body tag now right click on the body tag go to copy and press copy element now open the blank page in any of your favorite editor i will be using visual code collapse the body tag select this body html replace this html with the code we copied from the chrome browser save the file now open this html page so it's done i think we have to remove some javascript code open editor once again remove this demo js file let's remove all these empty lines and now blank page is ready let's move to visual studio now open solution explorer okay now we have this underscore layout file located inside shared folder of views this underscore layout file is the default layout file of our application if you want to have same template throughout the entire web application then you only need to make changes in underscore layout file and if you want to incorporate multiple templates within your web application like you want a separate template for the admin area then you need to create multiple layout files and at top of each view you need to mention which layout will be applied to this view if no layout is mentioned on any view the default underscore layout file template will be applied on that view let's make a copy of this underscore layout file rename it to underscore layout admin lte copy the html of my blank page now select all code of underscore layout admin lte and replace with the html of blank page
Now we need to move this inner content code to a separate file. We will be needing this code in each view we create. Move this code to some other file. So whenever we create a new view, we get the code from there. Now we need this render body function. Copy it. Paste it here. Copy this script code. Paste it here. Save the file. Now we need these style sheets of the template. Also we need the script files. Copy these files. Now create a folder named admin LTE and I will place all template files in this folder. We also need the plugins folder. Now we need to fix the paths. Also fix the logo path. Fix the path of script files. Now create a new view named admin LTE view. We will apply admin LTE template to this view only and all other views will be using the default theme. See on this index page, I haven't mentioned anything about the layout on the top. This view will be using the underscore layout file as its theme. Now go to controller, return view from here, run the project. Now see this page has the old default template. Go to privacy. Also the privacy page has the default template. Now let's navigate to our new page named admin LTE view. So our template is applied successfully to this page. Remember we copied the content code to a separate file. Now copy the code and paste it in this view. Save the file, run the project. Navigate to admin LTE view. The content is successfully rendered. Please do like my video and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. See you next time.